Hello, my name is Mike, and welcome back to The Witcher 3. We're still trying to find Dandelion, our bard friend who went missing after ransacking a ganglord's vault. Don't know where he is, but trying to find a bunch of leads right now. Following up on a person named Margrave Henkel, someone who may or may not be dead. Someone might be impersonating, may maybe he faked his own death, I'm not sure. But if I can find this guy, maybe he'll give me some information that'll point me in Dandelion's direction. Secret room. Probably where Dandelion and his cohorts planned the heist. Yep, and indeed there is a broken bottle of wine here covering a note. Might looks like there might be signs of a scuffle. Nah, they're just kind of yeah. They're just slobs. They got their stuff lying everywhere. So what's this note down here with the stain on it? Stain. Wyvern oil. Okay. Noted. Not sure why they would need wyvern oil. All right, all right. Who's here? Who are you? Oh, it's my friends, Triss and uh, Siggy Reuven. Didn't expect to see you here. Certainly not with Triss. I decided we could use someone who knows a bit of magic. The runes on the bomb. I'm absolutely dying to know what they mean. You dying to know too, Triss? No, just here for the coin. Ah, Marigold playing the cynical materialist. I love it. In truth, her ideals brought Triss here. She needs gold to save her colleagues. When I recover my treasure, I'll be in a position to help her. Simple as that. Speaking of which, and pardon my Beauchelet was, have you found out who fucking nicked my gold? Yeah, all signs point to Menge. It sounds like Menge has your treasure. Bothered Triss for nothing. No point examining the bomb. Because? Because I already know who nabbed your treasure. Commander of the Temple Guard, Caleb Menge. Well, well, Marigold. Your coin stands to come with a side of revenge. Geralt, would you be kind enough to tell me what you've learned? I'm terribly curious. Sure, I'll share with you almost all of the details. Margrave Henkel told me everything. Even though he's not here, I found a bunch of notes that said Menge did it. Henkel told me. Old man's alive and well. Faked his own death to escape his creditors. Strange. I had no idea he was in debt. He was. And Menga promised to take care of things in exchange for help with the heist. So... Geralt, how can I put this delicately? Bollocks. If you thought I'd fall for that tale you just pulled out of your ass, you don't know me one bit. Uh, Meng does have the treasure, as far as I know. Alright, I lied. But only partly. Heard of beasts that are half lion, half eagle. Maidens who are half fish. But you'll never convince me there's such a thing as a half truth. I'll give it a shot anyway. Didn't actually see Henkel, but Menga does have your treasure. Take it you learned this by peering into a crystal ball. Maybe. Trade secret. You're hiding something. And that's one thing I can't stand. Even more than Nilfgaard. But ultimately, this is a business deal, not a marriage. Besides, there must be some truth in all those lies. You're too dense to make it all up on your own. Hmm. Menger has been spending heaps of coin lately. Though to my knowledge, he shouldn't have a copper to his name. So, what now? From what I've heard, Menger spends his nights at the docks, witch hunter's quarters. Maybe pay him a visit. Ask where he's holding my gold for me. All right, I'll go see Menger and break his thumbs. Doubt Menga will admit anything willingly. As do I. Lucky I hired a witcher and a sorceress who've been through so much together to get this done. What's our past got to do with it? A great deal. Lovers will jump into the abyss for one another. Suits my needs perfectly. Namely, it greatly increases your chances of getting out of the hunter's barracks alive. With my treasure. Yeah, and I'm definitely not going to throw away your treasure if I have to save Triss. If I have to make a choice between one and the other, it's definitely saving your treasure. You've made the right choice. In other words, you're using us. Using you? Never. Merely making the most of your mutual bond. <laughs> well, lovebirds, I really must be going. Good luck. Thought you'd correct him. Say that we... You know. I have no idea what the status is between us, Marilyn. Or whatever your name is. I've already forgotten. Could have corrected him yourself. True. But it's not an easy thing to say, is it? 
But we've strayed from our topic. Got a treasure to recover. Triss, gotta tell you something. Dijkstra's gold, it's the last thing I care about. Thought as much. This is about Siri. Only partially. Mm -hmm. Menga's got Dandelion locked up somewhere, and Dandelion saw Siri. That changes everything. Listen, meet me at midnight by the Chapel of the Eternal Fire, east of the harbor. We'll figure out a way to get into the Hunter's Barracks together. All right, see you then, and thanks. The Eternal Fire Shrine. I hate the Eternal Fire, but I'll go to their shrine near the harbor around midnight. Oh, she just disappeared. In a flash of fire. Okay. Let's go to the harbor around midnight and meet Triss there and we'll start this counter heist or whatever it is we're doing. I really hope I'm not going to get ambushed by eternal fire worshippers who are angry that I've killed so many of their men, but I suspect that might happen. Glad you're here. Listen, took a look at the building and it does not look good. Mean it could use a bit of paint and sackle? I mean, it's a damned fortress. High walls, guards at the gate, armed men everywhere. We could never sneak in, and fighting our way in won't work. Menga would have had plenty of time to escape. What do you suggest? Take these shackles. Put them on me. Now is really not the time, Triss. I mean, I'm all for this, but we've got some work we have to do. Uh, Triss, sure you want to do this? Out here, with everyone watching? This might come as a surprise to you, but shackles do have uses outside of the bedroom. <laughs> Think. Bring the hunters the vile Triss Marigold. They won't just open the gate for you. They're likely to let you present her to Menga personally. No way. Too risky. Dandelion's life's on the line. Series two. No such thing as too risky. Ultimately, in the very, very end, I don't really care about either of them. Why don't you and I just go off to a secluded place somewhere we can just spend the rest of our days happily and alone. Triss, think about it. Really want to walk into the lion's den of your own free will and in chains? Yes. No, can't allow it. Nice of you to worry, but I've made my decision and I won't change it. Your plan doesn't work if I don't go along with it. But, since that's really my only option at this point, let's do it! Sure, I'll just throw you to the wolves. Fine. Let's say they take the bait. What then? We go in, I put a sword to Menga's throat and ask him where Dandelion is? Might not work. Menga's scum, but you have to admit, death doesn't scare him. Always found that annoying in fanatics. So we gotta trick him into talking. Any ideas? Uh, maybe tell him you have information about the Lodge. Or about Philippa. Even better, he hates her most of all. You'll think of something. Okay, well if there's something I'm definitely good at, it's thinking on my feet. Uh, by the way, thank you. Thank you for everything you've done so far. Wait. I want to thank you. Come on. Anyone would do this. No. Not anyone. Stop. It doesn't befit a sorceress to blush. Well, this sounds like a terrible, terrible plan. I don't really feel like turning Triss over to these wolves, but... Geralt, remember, I can take care of myself. What are you talking about? The Hunters. They won't treat me like a lady, but I'll survive. Might hurt a bit, but... Siri, she's what matters. Do what you need to do, no matter what happens. Can't promise that. I'm still asking you to. All right. Mm, all right. Mm, not looking. The more you talk about this plan, the less into it I am. What do you want? Here for my reward. On the Alpha. For a witch. Recognize who I got? It's Triss Marigold. Marigold. Come in then. Well, well, Triss Marigold. Giving up drowners for sorceresses. I can do both. Pays better. It's cause they do more harm. What's a drowner do? Pull the odd fisherman from his boat. But the witches, they murder kings, scheme, start wars. Don't forget turning your cow's milk sour straight out of the udder. Ah! You're done jesting, Marigold. For good. Put her in a cell. 
Yeah, I want to talk to Menga. Menga is the person I'm looking for. Not so fast. I hand her over to Menga himself, or not at all. You reckon we don't know what to do with this witch? Let go, you bastard! Vulgar tongue's got no place being in such a pretty mouth. I guess we'll have to rip it out. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna hand her in unless I'm getting paid by the man himself. Try to loosen it if I were you. Might learn something interesting. For instance? For instance, where Philippa Eilhart's hiding. I'll get you for this, you... Shut your gob, ginger whore, and you spit it out. Where's Eilhart? Oh, man, Eilhart. Uh, yeah, I know where Eilhart is. He is quite the character, if that's who I'm thinking of. Thought I made myself clear. I'll only talk to Menga. Menga don't talk to the likes of you. Well, then you be sure to tell him I came by with my friend Marigold. Fine, grab her and come with me. But be sure to stay right close. Okay, things have gone well so far. Yes, alright, let's follow the witch hunter leader. God, I hate these guys. And they're everywhere, too. But we'll see if they survive at the end of the game. If we don't go crazy and kill all of them. Let's talk to Menga. What a dumb name that is. And see if we can manipulate him into giving us the information we want. Devil spawn. Or kill him. We can kill him, too. Here's where we split up. Go see Menga. Marigold will be next door. You can't have her until I get... You don't set the terms here. Dirk, you know what to do. You won't get a word out of me. Not you, not him. Oh, play it tough, eh? Just you wait. We'll take a fingernail or three. That ought to get you singing. Hmm. Not really happy about this. I, I could go crazy and start killing everyone. Uh, I could just kind of be ambivalent about it. No torturing. If you torture, you're going to damage the prize, and Menga wanted, might want to do that himself. Fine, take her. I'd rather she didn't interrupt my conversation. But hands off, don't touch her. Why? Feel sorry for the bitch. No, couldn't give a shit about her. But if I don't get what I want from Menga, I'll want to sell her to someone else. Don't want you damaging the goods. Keen nose for enterprise. You'd make a great madam. I have side Before businesses. Menga will give you your coin, and Marigold will get what she deserves. Don't start torturing her without me! I want to be there! I want to see every last nail be ripped out. God, that's brutal. No torture till I get there. Got it? Got it. No torture. What? The Horson's casting spells. Get him! Well, it looks like things aren't going as well as I would hope they would. Yeah, Menga's probably gonna get away for this. But you can't say I didn't try. You can't say I didn't try. Alright, we've gotten all these guys. Is that- Oh, Menga's still here! I thought he'd have time to escape because we'd spent so much time killing his bodyguards. Yeah, let's kill Menga. I didn't get the information I was hoping for, but very well. Let's just murder him. It's fine. Maybe we'll find some notes on his corpse. I think that's all of them. That was close. Yeah, kind of screwed up there. Axie in a crowd? Geralt, there was no way that could work. Sorry. I couldn't let them torture you. You mean too much to me. We should search the office. Maybe we can find some documents mentioning Dandelion. I'll search his body. You searched the room. I've used Axie in a crowd before. Hey, level 14. Cool. I'm glad I killed all those guys. Yeah, alright, maybe... Yeah, I see the prompt to, to use Axie, and I kind of think it's going to be a 100% chance of working, but I guess that's not the case. Just because I can use that sign doesn't mean I should. There's not a guaranteed chance it's going to work. Caleb, I have new instructions regarding the organization of the next execution. When you are ready to meet, place the Holy Tome in the drop box. We will meet at the usual spot. Do not tell anyone where you are going. Burn this letter after reading. Okay, that's gonna help us out a lot. Find anything? Just his office key in his pockets. Here. Nothing under his belt. Wait, something's sewn in the lining. What is it? The key to a vault. Here, give it to Dijkstra with my regards. And I found a letter from a spy. I found a letter to Menga from someone important. A spy, I think. A spy? 
take a look. Drop boxes, secret signals. Yeah, strong stench of spycraft here. This agent could know more about Dandelion. Betty does. Letter explains how to signal for a meeting. No mention of where it would take place. Maybe Dijkstra can help. He knows everything. Everything? Slight exaggeration there. I'm not so sure. Well, I don't have any other options. Gonna go talk to Dickhead and see if he'll help me out. This is where we split up. But first, let's burn this shack down. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Come by later when you have a moment. I'd appreciate it. All right. We need to get out of here. Yes, you keep saying you want me to meet up with you. I'm not exactly sure where your house is, but... All right, how do we... How do we set fire to this place? Oh. That's one way to do it. I can try and help out. I've got... Uh, no, don't try and mind control the door. Set everything on fire. Just set it all on fire. Her fire is a lot more effective than mine, as it would seem. Nah, nah, she's got this down. I need to improve my fire spell. I have to upgrade more. That should do it. I'm going. You should too. Mm hmm. Not about to use the teleport, though. See you, Triss. See you later, Triss. Ah. Uh, oh, and there she goes again. You there. Mr. Roven wants a word. Oh, hi. How, who are you? What? Impatient old bastard. What? Nothing. Be there soon. Who do I spy? Why, it's Geralt of Rivia. It's my buddy Siggy. <sighs> will you stop following me already? I will. Soon as you tell me where my treasure is. Me and Menga didn't see eye to eye. How badly? Badly. I suppose that explains the smoke. My treasure's not in there, is it? Burning with the witch hunters. Oh, I didn't check. Maybe it is. Didn't see it anywhere. And 20 tons of gold is hard to miss. You mean to say you've come to me empty-handed? First off, you came to me. Second, I do have something in my hand. The key to a vault, founded on Menga. It's invisible! A vault that I need to find on my own. You've not made things much easier for me. Give me that. Well, I don't know if there's any leads to go on at the moment. So, bye. You lied to me. Again. What? You knew from the start who robbed me, but you didn't deign to share that information with me. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm still looking for the treasure. I honestly don't care about it. You'll get it back. No, I didn't. But I did deign to help you find your treasure, so stop moaning. I jest you not, Geralt. You abused my trust. I can live with that. This time, yes, you'll live. And now... Time to settle things. That a threat? Quite the contrary. You helped me, Witcher. So in spite of everything, you've earned your reward. I take it you've still no idea what happened to Dandelion? None. Found someone who might know, though. A spy, I guess. Signs his name, Yammerlack. Found a letter of his. Just one problem. It only details how to arrange a meeting with him. Makes no mention of where. A ruined house in far corners. Give the signal, and he'll show up there the same day, just before midnight. Excellent! I'm glad you already have this information. Triss is right, you do know everything. Thanks for your help. No need to thank me. Just paying off a debt. I always do, you know. Even to liars. And a final humble plea. Don't try to fool me again. Ever. Yeah, yeah, no. We'll be completely honest with each other from now on. I'm not entirely sure how Dijkstra learned the identity of Dandelion, the identity of his vault thief. It's unfortunate that he found out, and now he's got his eyes on me, a bit more suspicious than normal, but whatever. Gotta go find Dandelion. All I care about is rescuing Dandelion, so I can try and rescue Siri. Well, I found the drop box. Gave the signal. Spy should show up in far corners before midnight. Alright, let's go to the meeting spot. Just wait patiently, just like normal hunting. No, talk. Come on, Triss. Triss? How'd you know to. Ah, uh, Dijkstra, huh? None other. I couldn't resist. Really want to see this through to the end. 
Perfect place for a tryst. With Triss. Mm-hmm. Ceilings collapsed, mold on the walls, mouse droppings in the corner. Lips almost pucker on their own. Shh. He's coming, Hyde. I would have thought you were familiar with making out with rat droppings nearby, Triss. You pretty much wallow in the rat filth. Well, this must be the guy. Manga. Yeah, it's me, Manga. Indisposed. Very indisposed. I don't know who you are, but you're in deep. Shit right up to your nostrils. You're in deeper, I assure you. But answer our questions and we'll help you get out. The answer to each question will be the same. Sod off. I could try using the Axis sign on him. Or that fingernail removal thing they were talking about earlier. That might work as well. That's no way to talk to a lady. To a lady, I never. But to a witch. You can. Wouldn't recommend it, though. <laughs> ah, he set his crotch on fire, Triss! Had enough? Fuck off. I can take this. Of course you can. But I'm just getting started. I'm curious to see how far you will go, Triss. You must be thinking this can't possibly hurt any worse. Oh, it can. Enough! Enough! So, gonna talk? Yes! Yes! Just tell me what the fuck about! I am looking for Siggy Ruben's treasure, and if you don't mind, I'm on a time limit here, so if you would please elaborate as quickly as you could, that would help out the both of us. Where'd Manga hide Siggy Ruben's treasure? <laughs> I'm the clue. You realize one word and you'll howl with pain again. Yeah, and yet I still say I don't know a thing. Does that make you think? Think he's telling the truth? Ugh, looks like it. Well, fine. Where's Dandelion? That information you must have. That... That's what this is all about. A fucking minstrel! You might have set up at the start, before you bloody started mucking my mind with magic. I, I can't believe it. For a miserable sap like that. I'd appreciate it if you would just get to the point. I'm tired of having the runaround. Dandelion is on Temple Isle. In the dungeon beneath the shrine. Menger's planning to execute him in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Positively spectacular. Afraid you'll have to call off the show. How can we free Dandelion? Those who leave Temple Isle do so only on Menger's orders. Issued in person. Damn it. We'll find a way. I have an idea. Tell you later. Okay. As for this guy, what are we gonna do with him? He might talk. Enough. We've learned everything we wanted to. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Can I assume we can put this unfortunate incident behind us and... Not so fast. Harold. I know. He's seen too much. <sighs> Why? I told you... I'll never... Either he dies, or I wipe his mind. Well, you can go ahead and take his memory. That seems like the more generous thing to do. Strip him of his memory. But, but I helped you! I helped! It's not so bad, I promise. Peace, lay, and gave. So, how you doing, Triss? I'm having a great time. How do you feel? Base. Cruel. Vile. I could go on. But I need to get out of here. Now. Go home. Bathe, then drink myself to oblivion. Ah, uh, sorry you're having a rough go of it. It had to be done, though, and I can't think of any greater torturer than you. Maybe Menga, but he's dead now. Said you had an idea about freeing Dandelion. Yes. We know he's on the island, and he'll stay there until Menga orders him transferred to Oxenford, right? Mm-hmm. Problem is, Menga's dead. So... No one else knows that. He could have escaped the fire. He could reappear. Him or someone very, very similar. A Doppler? Mm-hmm. Your old friend Dudu Biberveld impersonated the halfling merchant. Dandelion claimed he seemed more real than the original. 
So much so, Vivaldi gave him a loan of several thousand crowns without batting an eye. Yeah, except Dudu's in hiding right now. Priscilla might know something, though. Fingers crossed. Listen, there's one other thing I wanted to talk about. But not here, and definitely not now. Yes, Triss, yes. That's like the third time you've asked me that same request. And you know what? I think we'll follow up on that. It sounds like the next step in this quest is to talk to Priscilla and recruit a Doppler to impersonate Menga. And we'll use this puppet to carry out our will. But before we do that, we're going to stop by Triss's house because she has been very insistent about wanting to talk to us. And I have missed having these quiet chats with Triss. So next time, we're going to go talk to Triss, and then we'll continue the actual quest of trying to rescue Dandelion. Until then, my name is Mike, and this has been The Witcher 3. Thank you for joining me.